buddy, it's Zim here from Living Gamers, and today I'm doing something I sort of did earlier on the previous Minecraft update, but uh, I'm going to do a little update video for 1.6, the horse update, and where I am right now is what I'm going to call Update Central, and from here, I will this place will constantly be updated, and so, for example, right now, I'm going to put on a bunch of carpet which came out in this update, um, so I'll fill this in later, but for now I have, just so you see how it looks, this is the beginning of the floor, and then as time goes on, we'll add like certain blocks, and anything that's sort of new. So this is the 1.6 horse update, and it'll be sort of like a train station, you'll walk out to the next update, or so on and so forth. So here's 1.6 horse update, so I have all the new stuff in the update set up here. So the first one is the carpet, as you saw, this one. Th you make it by putting two of the same types of wool in a workbench next to each other. And that will give you a, about six, I wanna say, or three, just to make sure. Let's do it real quick. It will give you three. Okay. And then, whoops. Oh, that was weird. This uh, eight coal or nine coal block will give you one of these coal blocks, which you can place. It can it's easier for storage. Uh, you can use it for looks. It's, it's pretty cool looking. I like it. And then the next one we have a new lapis texture. Texture it used to be kind of like dotty everywhere, but now it's like sort of like solid and more compact. Next thing we have is the charcoal looks different. Uh, it does not look like coal anymore, which we saw earlier over here. This is what coal looks like. I'll take one for reference. And this is what the new charcoal looks like. As you can see, it's quite different looking. It looks like charcoal, I guess. Um, now we have the hardened clay. And to get hardened clay, you need to burn a clay block, which you can get from... You can get the clay block from placing a block of clay in the workbench, or nine, fill in the nine spaces with clay. Then to, uh, you need eight hardened clay and one colored wool to make a dyed wool, or stained clay. And this will give you an orange stained clay. You put in different colors, you get different colors stained clay. Uh, but blue does not work for some reason. I am not sure why, but there is no blue. There's just... Light, there's light blue, there, oh, there's blue, <gasps> what? I guess it's a different recipe. Doesn't really look like blue, though. Whatever. Um, so you can get different colored stained clay, which looks pretty cool. And next, we have absolutely nothing, because I was going to use this one for the name tags, but I figured out that, or I had looked online and found out that course he hopped over um that name tags can only be found in dungeons so far they're probably going to imply a recipe later on but for now it's just in dungeons and here the, if you put in wheat like this you'll get a hay bale which you can see in the middle over here and you can actually feed the horses hay bales and it'll give them health if they're injured or yeah if they're injured you know what And then here we have, these are the uh, armor for the horses. As you can see, there's diamond, there is iron, and there's gold armor. This is the recipe to make it. You need, what was this, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. You will need six gold ingots for a gold armor, six iron for an iron armor, and six diamonds for diamond armor for a horse, and one clay per, or one wool per her armor and now as you can see there is a bunch of different types of horses I believe there's 35 different breeds so there's 35 different types and two of the non horses are the donkey and the mule uh, the mule is a mix between the horses and the donkeys they're pretty cool looking I'm pretty sure you can add this to it 
Um, the mules and donkeys are just, you can sort of use them as like transport. If you right click with, with a chest in your hand, it will go to the mule or donkey. It does not work on any other horse. You just get on the horse if that happens. So that's pretty cool. And they all have, oops, game mode zero. They all have different hearts or number of hearts. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is twelve. This one has eleven. This one has wow, a lot less. I can't believe I gave you armor. <laughs> um, eleven again. But the the mules and the donkeys I think are a bit faster than uh, the regular horses. Um, but also the um, you can breed the horses. And you can make them have certain traits, better traits and abilities, which I thought was pretty cool. Oops. So there's what? Oh, there's that. Then finally, this is the lead. And as you can see, these horse is attached by a rope, which is connected to this fence post. You see it different than the others. That is the lead. You can use this lead. Pick that up. Unless it disappears. Uh, okay, hold up. Lead. A lead is sort of just like a rope that controls the horse. And you can right click on them and pull them around. Make them follow you. And this only goes a certain length. So if you go too far away, too quickly from the horse, uh, you will lose the lead. And also, the name tags. You can, name, you can go to an anvil and name them for like seven experience you can actually name your horses or any you can name any mob i think let's try it out i, I know you can name villagers but i'm not sure about any other mob let's get an anvil real quick real quick this is on the spot awesomeness of this Anyway, uh, I sort of ran into a little bit of trouble. Uh